And with the holiday season on its way, border wait times at international bridges could reach several hours to cross into the U.S. CBS 4 Santiago Caicedo joins us in our newsroom. And Santiago, how is the city of Brownsville helping shorten those wait times? Chris, as a way to process those coming in from Mexico quicker, the city of Brownsville will now be footing the bill in order to pay for overtime for customs and border protection officials working on the Gateway Bridge in Brownsville. Shelia Guerrero lives between two countries as if they were just one city. Pues vivo aquí y... I live in Brownsville but cross into Matamoros to visit family, she says. As the holiday season approaches, City of Brownsville officials are aware that a routine cross between Brownsville and Matamoros could potentially take a very long time. En temporadas altas, en temporada navideña. During peak seasons like Christmas is when more people cross the bridges, Guerrero says. Although people that are crossing into Brownsville are telling me that the wait time today has been between 5 to 10 minutes, on some days it can reach anywhere between 2 to 3 hours. That is why the city of Brownsville has recently been approved by U.S. Customs and Border Protection to help pay for the overtime of customs officials on Gateway Bridge. It is costly. It is, it is, there is a cost to it. Brownsville city officials on Tuesday announced that the overtime the city will be paying these federal employees will be around $120 an hour. These costs come after CBP did a test run of the program during April of this year. City officials say that during one weekend, they paid CBP officials a total of $29,000 in overtime. This is a, a situation that is not uh, any different than any other bridge at, in any other community. But the city of Brownsville says the benefits outweigh the cost. They say they would much rather have visitors spending their money in the city shopping or dining rather than waiting on a bridge for hours, helping people like Shelia. Para las personas, sí, les, les conviene mucho a las personas que... She says that this agreement between the city and CBP will benefit those that cross the bridge, especially during peak seasons. The city of Brownsville says U.S. Customs Border Protection approved for additional manpower on the Gateway Bridge during Thanksgiving week from Wednesday through Sunday and during Christmas from the 22nd of December to New Year's Eve. In the studio with Complete Valley coverage, Santiago Caicedo, CBS 4 Valley at 6.